What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So today what we're gonna be working on is cutting a triangular graduation or bob, if you wanna call it that. Now what makes this triangular bob unique to the other ones that I've done in the past is that today we're gonna start on our weak side and then we're gonna work our way over to the strong side. So we're really setting ourselves up for success. It's a new technique that I've been trying out and it's been working really, really well. So I think that you guys are really gonna like it. You're definitely gonna be able to use it in the salon. Now before we get started with the video if you're seeing this version of this video then you don't have the fse now app so go to freesaloneducation.com create a free profile and download our app on the itunes or android store and you'll get instant access to all of these videos before anybody else so at the end of this step by step i'm going to share with you guys a video all about the app so you can see what it's all about it's super cool for now not going to waste any more of your time let's get started here we go all right guys, so the focus of today's video is gonna be cutting a triangular bob. Now, a couple new things about this particular technique is um, I'm gonna be working from my weak side to my strong side. Now, that is something that uh, I picked up recently and I loved the tip. So I wanna go through the sectioning. Sectioning is straight down center back. Uh, and then that first parting that I'm taking is gonna mimic the jawline. So really stay focused on that but we're gonna keep the sectioning nice and simple. So mimic the jawline and then clip it up and away. Now notice I push that hair with the comb. I get the grain of the hair, the base of the hair going in the same direction. And then I just slide a clip up underneath. That makes it easier for sectioning later. Now you'll also notice that I'm wearing gloves. I'm wearing gloves because of our current situation uh, in the industry. Um, I'm personally practicing cutting hair with gloves because I wanna see how it feels. I want to get used to it. I definitely know that maybe it's not a forever thing, but it's a right now thing that we probably will be cutting hair wearing gloves. So uh, the angle at which I'm cutting, this is my weak side. My fingers are pointing down. My elbow is up. And whenever your elbow is up, it wants to fall. It wants to fall with gravity. So that makes this my difficult side because I tend to have it end up a little heavier. So what I'm doing with this is I really get to concentrate on what angle I have and not trying to match it to the other side. Um, so that is why I think this technique is so beneficial. So notice that I'm following the head shape, I'm working my way through. My finger is going to be basically pointing towards that jawline area uh, and it's parallel to my parting. So I take the parting along the jawline so it mimics that and then my finger angle can match up with the parting and then I know I'm staying consistent throughout this entire cut. Uh, so I go through, I section through, I comb everything over, comb it up, clip it away and then I go through and I take my angle. So that's a couple things that have always been difficult for me uh, when doing this haircut is just staying consistent. So now notice that my elevation is not really changing a whole lot as I work up the head shape. I'm keeping a nice uh, low elevation. Um, the head shape is turning, so that's why that graduation is going to start to build up. So we basically start the bottom of this haircut at a 90 degree angle. And then as I work up the head shape, it drops. It gets lower and lower, and that graduation starts to get heavier and heavier. So just be aware of that. If you've got a client with thick hair, you might want to elevate slightly more than somebody um, that has fine hair, I might keep it at a nice neutral 45 degrees uh, for that. So just working my way through, staying consistent with it. Um, I'm going to just let you guys watch this part of the video. Uh, we're gonna go through it and then I'm gonna talk to you when we get to the opposite side. So one thing I do want to remind you guys of as I'm working towards the side of the head, the elevation is going to change because the head shape is changing. So right here, um, I'm elevating to keep that above zero degrees. So straight down, straight out uh, would be zero. I'm pulling it up just a little bit, but then as I work my way over to the side of the head, it drastically changes. So now my elevation is just slightly up. I want to build a little bit more weight on the side. The density is different. So as I work to the side, 
I drop my elevation down. So I start with a higher elevation and then I work my way to the side. The other key thing that I want you to notice is as I worked up to the top part, the top part of the head uh, with each section, then I moved into a little lighter, more of a point cut than a blunt cut. Now you can blunt cut no problem, but if you have a client that has uh, thicker hair, medium hair, uh, this is a technique I like to do to just soften the edge because no matter what, we're going to go in dry and we're going to soften it anyways. So I do a little bit softer point cut instead of blunt so that later on I don't have to do as much work when I go in on the dry cut. This you'll get a good angle of how much I elevate. Uh, it's not a lot, but I elevate it just slightly so it softens the edge. Now we're gonna move on to our strong side. So this is where my fingers are pointing up, my elbow is pointing down. Uh, I can stay way more consistent this way and I just work through. Uh, one other thing that you can see is I'm using the wider teeth of the comb. Uh, I don't wanna pull a ton of tight tension um, that's just the way I like to do. I like to have a little more freedom in my shape. Uh, so I use the, the wide teeth of the comb. They're not that wide. It's a, a YS Park 336 comb. Um, actually, this might be a 334, 334 comb. Sorry about that. Uh, YS Park 334 comb. Um, and I go through and I cut it uh, using those wide teeth. So working diagonal forward through the section combing everything, clipping it away, just like the opposite side. So we're going to work our way all the way through, try to stay as consistent as possible with our elevation. And then uh, I'll catch you on the dry cut portion. All right, so now we're gonna move into the style portion of the video. This is the Joyco Defy Damage Protective Shield. Uh, basically, it guards against any thermal or UV damage. So I'm gonna work that through. Gonna be doing uh, not only a flat wrap blow dry, so working the hair around the head, but then also going through with an iron and working uh, that with a flat iron as well to smooth the hair out and get it ready for the dry cut. So work that flat wrap all the way around. Uh, let that product kind of keep the hair nice and shiny and healthy. And then we're going to go in and start our dry cutting. So one thing I want to quickly go over as we get into the dry cut is that I was taught in school that you really focus kind of on that outer perimeter during that wet cut portion. And what I've learned later in, in learning hair cutting and watching other hair cutters that it's so important to focus on the outer perimeter last uh, and really stamp that in. So what I did was uh, I go through and I just kind of customize and and develop that outer perimeter as I go through. Um, so I use the tip of the scissor, go through, cut, uh, cut and define that line. And now I'm going to work into the back, uh, doing a little extra elevation and a little extra point cutting just to soften that graduation. Um, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes in the wet cut exactly how that's going to fall dry. So as you go through, you just use a couple techniques that help soften that edge and then you have it laying nice and soft. So I work my way through, uh, all the way through the back, a uh, little bit deeper point cut towards the crown area. Uh, so that lays even a softer veil over. And then I finish it off with the Joyco Joy Mist Medium Hold Hairspray. This is their number six uh, hold level. Uh, and you can see here's the end result. Nice, consistent, uh, triangular graduation. Hope you guys like this. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. There you go.